no sub zero in Mortal Kombat 12? Yeah, that's a huge red flag. Today, we're gonna be talking about why sub zero will not be in Mortal Kombat 12 and who will be his replacement. Don't worry, I got some details going into that. And before we get started, I would like to welcome you to the Mortal Kombat Files Episode 7, The Origin of the Lin Kuei. And we're going to talk about them ancestors. We're going to get into that right after this intro. Get ready. <laughs> What's up guys, this your boy The Wave Report. I'm back in the building with another video. If you're watching this video for the first time, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as we ride the wave all the way to 13K. Now, if you're watching this series for the very first time, I'm gonna need you to go and check out the playlist and start from episode one so you don't miss anything and everything is in chronological order. That's gonna help you find out where I got my source from and help you understand where the credibility for this source is coming from. So if you have not seen the previous video, the previous video was about Johnny Cage's ancestors. Again, it will be at the end of this video, the entire playlist, you can see it there and you can get more information there. As far as this video go, we're gonna be talking about Sub-Zero, how he will not be in the game and how his ancestor will be replacing him. And I'm also gonna give you a little spoiler as to what the story is gonna be like. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. I will be putting an image up on your screen very shortly so we can go ahead and we can touch on Sub-Zero's ancestor. Now, if you have not done so already, please make sure that you share the video with friends, family, and any combatants that you know who may be interested in this information because Mortal Kombat 12 is definitely gonna be a game that is going to be reckoned with. They've already sold tons of units with Mortal Kombat 11, even during the whole pandemic thing going on. MK11 is one of the best selling Mortal Kombat games and that is something for them to be proud about. So now they are looking to take it to a whole nother level. With that being said, you can expect this game to be completely different. As I mentioned, this will not be a spinoff from Midway or a spinoff from Nether Realm and there are two different timelines. This is actually gonna be a third timeline, which is a fresh timeline that can be created and molded into whatever they want. This will help them not have to deal with retcons and things of that nature so let's go ahead and start with the story but before we get into the story let me go ahead and pop this ancestor up on your screen because i want you to see what he looks like because we will be discussing him details and all types of stuff as we do that so let me hit this button here hit that button there and voila if you look at your screen you can see sub-zero's ancestor i would like to know what do you think do you think the person you see on your screen makes a great Sub-Zero? Because I tell you this right now, he is the original, the very original person to carry the ice powers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you some of these details here. I'll tell you this much. For those of you who don't know, he's a cryromancer. He's a cryromancer slash human. Now the powers have continued to be, they have continued to evolve. I also want you to remember that the Cryomancers is a race from Outworld. They came from Outworld. So the story takes place 500 years ago. That's when the great Kong Lao, you know, his era, we're actually going to get to live that story. You're going to see why this medallion that he possessed is so important on top of his ice powers. Now he's so good with his powers this is why he was the highest authority figure he can be within his clan check this out negative 500 fahrenheit that is absolute zero absolute zero something a lot of other people were not able to achieve now he also can manipulate his chi the life energy of a martial artist by channeling his chi that tells you this is a very very dangerous man 
you know, I asked my source to get me as much detail as he can on this person here. And from what he was able to gather so far, he seems like a very dangerous individual. He seems like a man not to be played with. You even can see the logo on his head. You know when somebody tattoos something on their head, they not to be played with, right? I'm pretty sure y'all know that because he definitely got the clan. He got the clan logo on his head, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if that's the clan logo. I'm certain that it is. I'm checking my notes and source confirmed that it was, but I would love for you guys to chime in on this. Now you can see he looks like a very old and wise guy. He seems like the type of guy that would be a grandmaster that would teach you things. So he also will have a run in with Scorpion's clan, which is the Shinrai Ryu, because that's going to tell you where the entire beef started. And you're going to be a little surprised at this, but guess what? No one other than Shang Tsung is going to be the person that stir up some trouble 500 years in the past, which causes in the new timeline for the Lin Kuei and the Shinrai Ryu to go back and forth. That's what's going to happen. So I wanted to put you up on game when it come to that there, but this guy's powers is going to be incredible. I'm told he's going to have trans, what you call it, teleportation power. Somehow he's able to use his ice to teleport. That's going to be that's going to be pretty dope to see a Sub-Zero that can teleport. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think one of the other Sub-Zeros did it in one of the other games. Or was it like in his victory scene where he freezes and then he falls to the ground and then he reappears or something like that? Um, I've never seen anybody use that in MK11, but maybe in one of the older games he can do that. Correct me in the comment section. Was Sub-Zero ever able to use teleportation please correct me i will be reading the comments but i'm told that this guy will be able to do that and manipulate ice powers like never before he also will be tapping into the power of that amulet that he carries that you know sub-zero carries and the one that frost was fighting over those type of things this dude is basically the shujinko of his clan that's who he is and i'm not gonna lie he looks like he looked like he gonna put the beat down on somebody, man. You know, if they got a white beard, they wise. They very, very wise. Also, I did find the clip that my source was referring to that you can see these pictures which were stashed away as an Easter egg in MKX. I will be showing that in a future video when I do a full story and we're gonna do some comparisons. I was also given some other information that relates MKX and MK11 directly to each other as far as what I'm going to be covering for the Great Kong Lao's story and things of that nature. So I just want you to know I have tons of content coming for you guys. So I definitely want you to stay tuned and to stay put because you don't want to miss none of this greatness that's going to be happening on this channel. I want to take a second out real quick to remind you to like the video, subscribe and share. Share this video in Facebook groups, share it with friends, share it with families, share it with your dogs, share it with your cats. Go get your pet dragon, go get your fish, go to your fish tank, play the video and show your fish. Let everybody know. We need to let them know that the wave report is going hard with these exclusive videos. And as mentioned, liking the video does help so much. If you have not watched any of my other videos and this is your first video, I recommend watching the playlist that's going to take place at the end of this video it's going to get you caught up check out my other series it's called the injustice series the injustice files and i also have the pokemon files and the one you're watching now the mortal kombat files and i'm working on the gta 6 files is what i'm working on so we're going to try to get the content on this channel popping be sure to tune in at 8 p.m for more content now that i done did all of that promo let's go ahead and get back to the actual story shall we now this taking place 500 years in the past is going to be extremely interesting because the entire cast is going to be different you're not going to see a lot of the same characters that you saw in 11 mainly because half of them were dead they were not even born at that time that's what's going to make it very interesting so this is why mk12 is going to stand out because they're being challenged to bring in new characters and to take some older characters to reinvent them but they have to make these characters just as strong and make these characters relatable 
to what we were already accustomed to, what we already were used to. So that way it doesn't feel like too much of a transition and we will be getting new characters. I'm gonna to touch on that in another video, but they will use this opportunity to introduce new characters. So it's basically gonna be kind of like how they did with uh, Mortal Kombat was it MKX by introducing, you know, the um, the kids of people? Well, this is going to be a reverse where they're going to be introducing the ancestors. And I can't wait to make the story video for you guys because Liu Kang has done the unthinkable. And too much good is always bad and too much bad is always good. Good versus evil must be a balance. So wait till you hear about what the story is and how that's going to take place and why we end up 500 years in the past. Again, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, I will see you wonderful people later. Be sure to click the playlist at the end of the video. Peace out.